Hello guys, I am solving the problem number 10 of 6.5. Here it is given that a guy wire attached to a vertical pole of height 18 meters. Okay, we, we are having a guy wire right which is attached to a vertical pole of height 18 meters. Means the height of the pole here is given as 18 meters. And the length of the guy wire is 24 meter long and has a stake attached to the other end. How far from the base of the pole should the stake be driven so that the wire will be taut? Yeah. Here what is meant by guy wire? Guy wire is nothing but the tension cable which will be attached to the poles. As you have seen for the electric poles, wires will be drawn right for grounding and that, that is similar to a guy wire, like a tension cable. Now this guy wire is attached to a pole. Means we have a vertical pole. Its height is 18 meters. Now, and now we are attaching, attaching a guy wire. This, assume this has a guy wire which is attached to this electric pole. This is a cable that is attached. Now what we need to do and that cable has stake attached to the other end means the other end of the cable is having a stake right. Okay. This is a stake is nothing but pointed wooden piece which is used to stretch this cable tightly and stick it to the onto the ground. Right. He is asking that how far from the base of the pole should the stake be driven. We need to take this stake and we need to put it in, into the ground such that this wire will be tight. You can visualize it in this diagram. Okay, this is 18 meter pole. Now I will stretch this guy wire and I will put it into, it into the ground. If it is tightly held here, what must be this distance such that this wire is straight? I think you have understood. What must, what must be this distance such that this wire will be straight? Therefore, we need to find this distance. When this wire is straight, we can take this as a straight line, right? Then what is the length of the wire? Because this wire length will not change, right? It is given as 24 meters. 24 meters means we have this length and this length. Now we need to find this by applying the Pythagoras theorem because it is a right angle triangle, right? Okay, let me apply that. I have hypotenuse one side and other side. If I consider this as A, B, C by applying Pythagoras theorem to triangle A, B, C if I apply the Pythagoras theorem then I will get A, B square is equals to A, C square plus B, C square. Right. I have the value of A, B as 24 meters. 24 square that is equals to AC as 18 meters 18 square plus I need to find the value of BC that is BC square right I want BC so I will keep it onto the left hand side and if I shuffle this equation it will become 24 square minus 18 this 18 will be going on to one side and uh, this will become negative 24 square is 576 18 square is 324. We will be getting as 2, 5. Yeah, 252. BC square. Yeah, without calculator, calculation of this root is highly difficult. So let me simplify that first. Now I have got BC square is equal to 252 meter square. Right. Okay, I will be taking this value and simplifying further. B C square is equal to 250. Now I need to find this root. Let me factorize the 252 so that I will be getting the factors. 2 1 2, 2 is 4, 2 is 6. Yeah. Now I can write 252 as 2 square into 3 square into 7. Right? 2 square, 3 square and 7. Now if I take a root, 2 square into 3 square into 7. Right. Since 2, two and 3 have a squares, right? They will come outside the root. And I will get 6 outside. 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. And 7 remains inside the root. 
therefore BC is equals to 6 root 7 and we have the units as meters right 6 root 7 meters I think you have understood guys thank you